Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Ixion. So, those of you looking now may notice that things are looking better and the ship is not currently on fire. That is because, <laughs> as I was basically facing complete failure and destruction in the last episode, off screen I went two saves back and tried to basically salvage things and make things better. Well, I have Sector 6 and Sector 1 set up to have uh, re restricted food, which means they're going to need less. And I have Sector 6 set up properly so that they have supported working hours, which increases stability a bit, which is a good thing. <laughs> now we don't need to worry about that as much. We do still have homeless, but these homeless are something we can settle with. We're fine with that. Oh, that's why we are currently on lower integrity. So, things are better. In order to prepare for more that's going to be coming, my current plan, the next thing I'm going to research will be... where is it? The drone bay. Since it quickly transfers resources in other places, if I research it, I'm going to try and put it here. I'm also going to take apart this EVA airlock and transfer it over to, uh... And basically have the EVA airlock we have... Oh, good, we can do that. The EVA airlock here over in Sector 6 take over its duties. So this, we'll be dealing with it instead. And we actually don't need this on right now. In fact, I'm probably going to want to replace that, because... Yeah, fire. Fire stations. Fire is now a thing that we need to worry about, and... I think I have one in every sector except Sector 6. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to replace this. So, how about we do just that? Currently happy. That's fine. And there we go with the third new year, which is actually fitting because today is actually the first the first of January, so a happy new year to you guys as well. Don't worry, we're getting the food out where it needs to be. Okay. Fortunately, the fire station actually takes up exactly the same amount of space. Unfortunately, we ran out of space for those alloys. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's make people a little happier. Build another demotic quarter. Once we get this settled in, we'll move on to the next sector because we're basically about ready. I've gathered up a lot. Silicon is the only thing I don't have much of, and I can't find any more anywhere. So we're just gonna have to settle with what we got. We have a ton of electronics now, An so that's fine. Has occurred in the typhoon. Sector 1 also has a lot of uh, people just waiting. We'll get that settled eventually. In fact, you know what? D uh, these current quarters... 52, and what are demotic agains? 91. You know what? I'll work on uh, satisfying things a bit. Oh, wait, I'm not going to have enough space. What do you mean you don't have... Not connected to an act... Oh, that's why. Okay, never mind. All right. We'll get all the alloys in here, we'll get that settled. Administrator, you can implement a new policy. Good to know. I don't need to right now. Alright, and now we'll be able to build this. Let's get it built. So I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Also, I think I have an idea for what I'll try and make Sector 6 in the future, and that's going to be a focus on 
buildings that can actually affect other things. So, an exo fighting dome, that'll be useful. Um, a health center, that'll be useful. Um, maybe I'll try a nuclear power plant. Again, it does still feel incredibly stupid that the nuclear power plant... Where is it? Factories. That it costs 20 power to turn a hydrogen into 10 power per cycle. But I can't help but wonder if that's like a permanent change. That said, I'm not going to make that until I actually do some work to make it a lot more reasonable. Especially reducing the at especially the atom mantra so it's no longer 75 people. Still, I don't know about this. Okay. We'll get these things built. And we're about ready to go. Sector 4 has hospitalized people. That's interesting. Well, some people are almost done. I think. No, that's in the... Okay, there we go. Sector 6 is now specialized in population rank 1. Right, right. That hadn't happened before. What's it again? Mess halls can feed, tw feed twice as many crew members per cycle. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, you're good, you're good. How much do these require again? 40. Oh, we got space. And we'll replace that with a demotic quarter, so we'll be able to fit more people. That's fine. Okay, so... I think we're about ready to go over. I'm just going to get the demotic quarter under construction first. Our supplies are actually really good. We have... We're basically full up on alloys. We have tons of food with more just waiting for us. We've got... The fire station's prepped up for any emergencies. We've got big, uh, storage supplies. Allo Polymers are the only thing that I'd like- that I don't have enough of. I want to get these solar panels out, but I can't right now. So we'll have to wait until we get over there- until we get over there to make it. Probably gonna need more alloys for other things. Okay. Sector 6 is good. Sector 1 is gonna have this, which is gonna be good. Okay, we're ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, time to initiate the, Vol the Ixion engine and make our Vol jump. Why are you still there? You know what? Send the ships back to the Tycoon. Once those two get back, we'll jump. I mean, why not? It's a simple enough thing. Okay, the gear is back. Galileo is heading back. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. No worries, we're getting food where it needs to be. We're able to satisfy things now. It does take time, but we are getting the food in. Sector 6 is just holding on. I think. Come on, Sector 6. You were holding on before. There we go. Okay. It's very close. <laughs> Not the best situation, but it is just holding on. Okay. All ships are back. Activate the Ixion. Let's see where we end up. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. That's on it. All ships are returning. Ixian engine ready. Commence the Volt Jump. Let's see where we end up.
This is still really cool, you know? <laughs> I don't know exactly what we're doing, but it looks really cool. A lot of red. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Expected irreversible damage to the tycoon detected. Hmm. Calculations indicate the system's pulsar is dormant. Oh. Sensors have located the Piranesi, currently powered down. You must find a way to retrieve the Remus coordinates from it. Act with extreme caution, Administrator. We will. So, we've got a Pulsar in here. Currently dormant, but still. Welcome to the... Walking to the Lion's Den. Search the Piranesi for the Vol... For the Remus coordinates. And train 150 colonists. Okay, that looks very dangerous. And we can actually study it, interestingly. Okay. Step one. Launch a probe. Let's find... Let's see. Iron carbon. I don't know if I can send anything through there, but that sounds very dangerous. High source of silicon. We've got iron and carbon at the moment. Let me see if I can... I just want to find, like, the center point. There it is. We'll at least be able to get some science. Okay, Galileo, investigate here. Gear, head over to here, gather up the science. Hull Integrity is currently holding on a bit. We've lost a fair bit, but we're kind of holding on. And science, I want... That drone bay start on the research. We're gonna get enough that we'll be able to get it. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, PSR B1257 plus 12H. Let's see. Several planetary readings from 12H fall outside the parameters of theoretical models. We've landed on 12H, a planet with intense geological activity. Fissures expel gas into the atmosphere, and canyons run deep across the planet's surface. We've located a stable area where we should be able to study 12H's phenomena. We will. I want you to gather up that science first. Once we get it, we'll do something. Okay. Probe has completed its scan. There we go. We've got a ship out to mine silicon. Good. Once we get a new probe, we're gonna find ice. Because ice is something we need. I don't know how long it'll take to get this, but we will. Hull integrity is going down a fair bit more than I'd like. There we go. Establish infrastructure to support advanced analysis. Setting up infrastructure capable of supporting exploration and geological analysis with, will allow the Galileo's team to map the site's topography and molecular composition. Despite being a time-consuming approach, the team will analyze a large amount of data with the help of a dedicated PA to ensure the generation of statistically robust reports. Alright, and that's the Cornucopia's task. Get on it. All right, and we do need to train more colonists. I guess we can get working on that. It'll take time, but we can afford it. All right, we're getting enough science, so we are getting what we need. Probe is ready. Let's scan. High source of 
High source of iron and a little bit of carbon. Good. Head out there. Then we'll do a science research. I am very concerned about this pulsar. Alright. Gear. Uh, Galileo? No. Gear. Head back to the tycoon for now. The Piranesi has been located. Initial visuals indicate that it has suffered heavy damage. Our sensors are not detecting any activity on board the ship. We're gonna hold off on that for now. I am very worried about this storm. If it moves, we're gonna be in trouble. A probe has and there we go. Iron and carbon. Good amount of iron, a little bit of carbon. All integrity is going down more than I'd like. And I will be taking this apart. In fact, let's get started on that. Hull integrity, I want it to get to a balance point. If need be, we'll head to the... We'll uh, turn on the one I want on. Okay. Temporarily... Just put that there. For now. We'll use up some alloys so that we can finish this up here. We're actually getting good on water. Ice! We need to find... Oh, good. Let's see. We have completed our theoretical model of 12H. During our studies, Clomara Ramirez showed signs of mental distress. Concerned that the gas expulsions were the cause, we carried out standard suit integrity tests. No breaches were found within their suit. Later, while we were submitting our results, Xiomara Ramirez was seen leaving the research site. Xiomara Ramirez, sorry, not Xiomara. Xiomara Ramirez has left the research site. The rest of the team will be dispatched to find, rece retrieve, and treat them accordingly. Hopefully we find them! Alright, getting all the resources we need. Let's find some ice somewhere. Ice, ice. Oh, I see a little bit up here. It's not much, but it is... Oh, oh, there's a bit more. Oh, oh, it's fat it. There it is. There, that'll get us the ice we need. After that, we'll find more science locations. And research is complete. Good. Now, drone bay. We need this drone bay. Get it built. Oh. Yeah, noted. You know what? Let's get this on. Let's try and keep our hull integrity a little better. Our systems are happy. Nope, oh, too far over. Alright, production is working on this. A probe has completed its scan. Good, that'll get us ice, which we need. A science ship team has completed a task. What have you found? The reports from the Galileo team have become inconsistent, indicating psychological instability. According to their most recent transmission, the team is following the tracks of Clomara Ramirez towards the house. Oh no. We can activate the Naomi protocol to enter the house or leave the planet. You know what? Screw it. Let's follow this to the end. Enter the house. I don't know what we're gonna find, but it should be something interesting. Alright. We've got resources here. Let's find some more sources of science. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Alright. And we've got this drone bay getting worked on, which will help out quite a bit. A little concerned about what we'll find in this mysterious house. Sector 1 is currently fine. I can work on making another uh, demotic quarter. That actually does sound like a good idea. We 
We've got plenty of allies to do so. Alright, train another 15 colonists. I'd like to get enough. Alright, point of interest has been found. Which one is... Okay, the Galileo is there. Gear, head to PSR B1257 plus 12G. Let's see what we got. Oh, right, uh, new things here. Um, okay, we have the drone bay. Increases maximum drone capacity by one, by two. Drones move 10% faster. And increases the number of resource units drones carry by two and by three. Interesting things. But there are other things I need to work on. These don't matter that much at the moment. More than 400 crew. That would actually help out a bit. Let's see. DLS center. Oh, hold on. Power. Yes, vacuum-resistant lubricants. I think we're going to need that. Go ahead, research it. And then after... Well, we're gathering up science now. It's fine. I am a little concerned about what we're going to find here. Oh, we got another probe ready. Okay. Something... There it is. Send the probe, let's see what we find. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, you've arrived. Gather up the science. We'll do that first. You're almost done. Oh, did the... Is it done? It is. Okay, drone bay is prepared and should be able to send things out to where it needs to be, which will help solve our food issue, I hope. Yep, there go the drones. And they're picking up food and sending it out. Perfect, that's gonna help out a lot. Okay, so two things here. Another planet, and let's see what happened. Comms contact with the Galileo's team has been lost. For a short time, we were still receiving mission reports. The house is much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, has no interior light source, and contains a series of mazes. The last report speaks of thumping sounds being heard. Shortly after this was received, the crew's suit signals were turned off one after the other. Okay, thanks to Dolos repatriation protocols, the Galileo will be able to return to the Tycoon despite the loss of its crew. While repatriation of the Galileo was being initiated, Clomara Ramirez contacted the Tycoon via the ship's comms. They have returned, and are in possession of a strange, translucent, and gelatinous sample. After rapid analysis, it is composed of unknown particles held together by Thrall's tachyons. Clomara Ramirez appears to be extremely disoriented and requires medical assistance and psychological report. They're returning to the Tycoon aboard the Galileo. Okay! Good! <laughs> So the Galileo is returning back. Okay, reform crew on the Galileo. That's being handled. Good. Good, good, good. Still need to find a viable planet somewhere. Oh, has the gear arrived? Yes. Uh, our probe has detected abnormal meteorological activity present on PSR B1257 plus 12G, calling into question our theoretical models. We've descended into the upper atmosphere of 12G. Updrafts and downdrafts of ionized hydrogen form purple-shaded tornadoes and immense green cumulonimbus clouds. A grouping of tornadoes surround and circle a massive cyclone on the planet, large enough to be observable, large enough in size to be observable from space. Oh, uh, let's see. The GEARS team will conduct superficial analysis of the phenomena, staying at a safe distance, and collecting samples of atmospheric gas only. Providing data quickly, we will be able to test our correlating theoretical models of the observable wind forms. 
The Gears team will rig and drop measuring devices into the lower atmosphere of the planet close to the meteorological phenomena. It will be necessary to provide resources via cargo ship for construction. This will provide valuable data to complement our theoretical models or an autonomous analysis drone. This protocol directs for the fabrication of a drone adapted for the conditions present on PSR B on there. Although of simple design, the drone is sophisticated enough to collect the data necessary to improve our understanding of the extraordinary meteorological phenomena. That sounds like the best option. I don't want to get too close to there. Launch an autonomous analysis drone. Alright, Galileo's ready. Get back over there, get that science. Oh, and we have a probe ready. All right, launch the probe. That's a lot of resources, send it out. All right, and our ships are out gathering up resources. I do think we're going to need more, uh... oh, we need more carbon. I mean, we're doing fine on carbon at the moment. Technology vacuum resistant lubricant has been unlocked. Excellent. Which means more power from the solar panels. Let's see, what do I need to work on next? Um Hmm. Let me think. Um... I think polymers are the thing we need to work on now. That doesn't sound like the worst idea. Although... Mm, let me think. False perspective, cell housing would be able to hold more. Although that's not something that's the problem right now. Hmm... Actually, improving repair efficiency sounds like a good idea. Let's get... Actually, no. Let's uh, increase the scouting radius. And then we'll do the plasma cutter after that. That sounds fine to me. Okay. Things are going okay. Sector 6 is getting its food. The AR lock in Sector 6 disabled due to an accident, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I never built this! I keep forgetting about that. Go ahead, build the demotic quarter. Okay. Things are happening there, which is good. I haven't finished the probe yet, but it will soon. And it looks like... Okay, let's send out this next probe. Nope, not that. Launch probe. That's a big source of iron over there. Hmm. Carbon. We need carbon. Oh, there's a bit. There we go. Go ahead. Nice source of carbon. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Not the stream, the episode. Next episode, we'll get more research done, get more things taken care of. Everyone is happy now. That is actually fantastic. You've got two, you've got one, you've got two, and you've got two. Okay, things are doing pretty well. These drones are transferring things faster, so we're able to get food to where it needs to be much faster. We're actually managing to stay on top of this, which is good. We need it. <laughs> so, that's being handled. I'm glad we're finally getting back on top of this. You, you, you I can turn off for now. So, next episode, more exploration, more colonists, more everything in order to get things done. Go ahead, train up more colonists. Hopefully that'll go well. Till then, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly. This has been a Let's Play of Ixion. 
and I shall see you all next time.